let's look at the basics of creating a Ruby shell script. So Ruby is kind of a newer language, newer meaning last 10 years. And in order to create it, you need an editor, so use nano. Ruby files usually have the extension RB. There's other extensions too. And you go in there and you need the interpreter, which is user bin Ruby. So what that will tell it is when the script runs, it will load this user bin Ruby script, which will then load up and use hello.rb as the argument. It will load that up and then run the program. So in order to print, use the put s command, put and hello world. Now, this script has two problems before it can run. First, it needs to have permissions changed. And second, we need to install the Ruby interpreter, which is not here by default on my machine. So let's install the interpreter first. So you yum install Ruby. And so that'll go out to my repository and it will grab all the files required in order to run the Ruby interpreter. So it's a whole lot of packages, you can see. So I download a well, not a lot, about 10. I download them, install it, and now I have the interpreter ready. If I look at my directory, I can see that the Ruby Hello World program is here. Permissions are not set to execute. I need them to be both read and execute. So I'll do a chmod 755 on my hello.rb program. And then I need to tell it to run. The hello.rb program is not in my directory. I mean, it's in my directory, but it's not my path. And so in order to get it to run, I need to tell it the directory it's in. So I type either slash root and hello.rb to run it, or I can tell my current directory, which is dot slash hello.rb to get it to run. And that's how you get a Ruby program built and executing.